Okay guys, I'm gonna go over today what you need to make your ALH Volkswagen engine to run. And I do have the plug so I can go over this with you. So just to make it run, let me pull this wiring harness up right here. So these two red wires are red and blue. The big ones, they are your power for your ECU. They have to have power. The brown and red are your negatives, and they have to be negative. They have to be put in place on negative to make it run. And you will need this wire here, which is 37, pin 37. It is, it says black and violet. Let's see if I can pull that black wire for you. Um, it is this one. And it is black and violet, actually. Uh, this one has to have power on to get it to run. And uh, anyway, so I printed this out. I had a guy that I had a shop, and I got him to print out the uh, schematics for me. So that helped me out in figuring out where everything go goes. Uh, one thing I want you to look at is this right here. So I cut my wiring harness up. I did not save anything and this is what's going to get you in trouble with doing that and i had to figure this out so on your tps these wires this is your tps plug these wires here some of them are different colors so let me see if i can zoom in on this paper to make sure that you can see this if you did what i did so, all right. Those are your plug out or your pin outs. So 51, 70, 63, 50, 69, and 12. As you can see the colors on these, they are different. You need to make sure that you can write those down from the video or whatever, because those are different. And uh, if you do not, then you may be in trouble. So just make sure that you got those. The rest of them are actually straight from the plug, same color it seems like. So it's just the TPS sensor. So also, let's see if I can bring this up. So the, I uh, also found this stuff online. Maybe it's helpful. Uh, so pin one, two, like I said, that's your 12 volt. Um, it says a 40 amp relay ground activated so it tells you exactly what it is and uh, activated pin 18 how about that uh, so then it tells you your yellow black and it's the ground that says glow plugs five. Oh, hang on we're still on the one two so it tells you everywhere that those wires go and then your four five is your grounds and uh, so this is your pinouts and tells you everywhere that they go. Uh, and this one was for a Toyota. And uh, so he kept the OBD2 port. You, you do want to keep that. Uh, let's see. Pretty much shows you everything that you keep, everything you don't. Uh, so 37 there again, your ignition switch. You got to have that. Uh, it tells you your, well, he kept his glow plugs. You gotta keep all your throttle. So all the wires that I showed you for your throttle, you have to keep all that. Uh, you can read that, you have to pause the video and read that if you want to. So we'll come on down. And this one was just another guy that I've seen and I just copied all of his stuff. Uh, there you back to the uh, one, two is your main power, 30 amp fused relay ground. Uh, trigger pin 18. It's the yellow blue wire. Uh, pin 3 is unused. And if you're wondering how this is, uh, the green plug in the center, that is unused. So that is your number 3. And then you got your 4 or 5. Alright, so coming on down. And uh, I can show you everything. All the used and cut. 
he kept a lot more than I did, and he actually cut stuff that I wanted to keep. So, um, as we scroll down, if I notice that he cut something that I would keep, I will let you know. But, uh, let's scroll on down. He didn't use an AC. I noticed that. Um... There's your 37, keep all that. Cruise control, he kept, he cut all that. So you can, depends on how you want to wire yours up. Uh, all your throttle, keep your throttle. Your mass airflow, you do not need that to make the engine run. And once you tune it, you don't need that either. So you can go ahead and cut that out. Now the map sensors here, you do need those. So you need to keep your map sensor. I don't know why he's cutting it. But uh, you do need to keep all your map sensors. Uh, there, well, there's your throttle. He could, did keep the map sensor there. Oh, sorry, I missed this. Your pin 62. It says cut. You actually need that. I ended up cutting it, but you need that because that controls the, uh, I hate to say wastegate, wastegate, but it's not really a wastegate. It's a variable uh variable geometry turbo so you do need that or you basically have to have another turbo so you need to keep 62 so where he cut that you, you need that um let's see so scrolling on down it tells you all the plugs and how stuff's wired up uh mass airflow you don't need that but you do need the map so it tells you all your ecu pins so you need all those um, so this will help you if you ended up cutting your harness up like I did and you need to go back and rewire it. So that you will need to do. Your N75, you do need that. So you, it's just a fuse to 10 amp and that one wire. Uh, your anti-shutter, that is your, in case your engine runs away, you can wire that in if you want to. Probably tell the guy that's programming your ECU that you want to keep that as well. Uh, TPS, so that gives you all your colors and pinouts for that. Uh, your alternator, so you will need your alternator. And if you ever notice that your alternator plug, it has your AC into it as well. So you will have to do, you have to change that. Uh, so your ECU will be pinout 38 on the brown red and your blue uh it says alternator light i think that is actually your exciter on that i'm not sure yet i haven't got that far in it if the blue is the exciter then you're going to have a have to have wire in a 12 volt for that i'm not really sure about that one but if the alternator doesn't charge for you you will definitely have to wire that in uh, I think that's about it. That's right here. Uh, also, I had another thing that I wanted to show is, so I pulled this up, TDI Forms Club. You can look it up yourself. I can zoom in. So this, it's really kind of blurry, isn't it? Uh, hmm. Let's see. But anyway, it gives you your ECU. So you can look this up on the TDI Form Club. Uh, gives you ECU, gives you all your plugs or where your wires go, what you need to wire in. So the top one is a uh, seven and a half amp hot wire. You got two grounds, um, the K line from the ECU, it seems like. Uh, splice and splice. All right, so then you got your glow plugs. I, like I said, I didn't wire my glove plugs up, but, uh, so this is a plug that I would keep. I will show you in the basement. I did not keep this and I kind of regret it. It's the T14A. This one is what I'm talking about that you will have to power to get your engine to run. Uh, so number five wire, it requires a 30 amp and the number six wire requires a 10 amp. 
And number nine requires a ground. Those will have to be wired in or your engine will not start. It will act like it's getting power and everything, but it will not start. Uh, so you come on down. This one is the connector. Let's see. One of these, so I cut one of these out and it's actually your throttle pedal. Oh, this, uh, the blue wire. So I cut that out. So you need to check, make sure if you do cut that wire, you got to check your wiring colors. Like I showed on the paper, you will need to check that and make sure you wire that up correctly. If you wire it up correctly, it will run. You don't have to have that plug, of course. Um, let's scroll on down. And the rest of it, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um... I think, I think I pretty much showed you how to wire your ECU by that. And to prove that I'm not lying to you about it, I will actually go down and uh, start that. By the way, I'm putting this in a Samurai, so I'm going to put a Dana 300 on it and uh, see how it goes. Oh, one thing I failed to mention on the video, and that is, uh, the numbers are not on this side, uh, so if you flip this over, if you want to know what the pinouts are, if you're a little confused about it, they're all labeled. Let's see if I can get that to show. So you see the numbers at the top, they're in the middle, and at the end, those are your numbers that you need to be looking at to know the pinouts. And it's the same on both sides, actually. So uh, they're hard to see on the camera, but you can see that there are numbers there. Uh, that was that. That's how it's going to tell you what your pinouts are, and they're even labeled right there. You see the four or five. I think the top number is 24, 43. So, no, let me see. The end numbers, I can't even see it myself. So, but anyway, there, that's how you know which pin you're looking at. I hope that helps. If you ever never done any wiring, that will pretty much sum it up for you. All right, so now we're in the basement. So I got this ECU. It is programmed. Uh, the brown wires are going to negative. And so this is your, let's see if I can get over here. This is the plug that I was talking about, sorry. It's the uh, T14A, I think is what it was. Uh, that plug, get a good view of it. <laughs> need to cut that harness out. So the two wires that's got to be on positive, the one wire that's got to be negative, it's got to be ground. So I ran it through this old speaker wire. It's enough to hold it up. I can zoom out just a little bit so I can make sure you see everything. I'm not trying to pull in by his leg. I do have a wire for the glow plugs. It's not needed. It starts up, no problem. I just got it running into a gas tank gas can which it has diesel fuel in it but everything's in it all right so let me see if i can get you stabilized here uh yeah can't really see actually let me back way up actually that would probably be better i had a battery down so, I didn't even hook the uh, TPS up. Nothing's hooked up. Now you do have to find your positive wire. And now that you look for it, let's see. Oh man. Okay. Positive wire. Oh, there it is. I believe. 37. So. Listen to the engine. Hear it click in there. You make sure you get that click. So just hold it down. Power. Real simple. Makes it run. No, there's nothing big about it. I know that uh, if you watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of people make a big deal about this harness and everything. Nothing big about it. 
and also the uh, small wire or the small connector for the ECU. Let me see, make sure, make sure that I'm showing you what I'm talking about. So this small one, don't even worry about doing anything to it. Just leave it full connected. Uh, just so make sure this is your connector for your. Let's see if I can. I need a flashlight. Hang on just a second. So, this connector here, this one is for your alternator. It actually connects your alternator and your AC. I'm going to get rid of my AC, so I really don't need that big of a plug. I'm probably going to cut that and just put my own connector in there. I got several connectors, so I might as well just put a connector that I want in there. Um, other than that, I believe you're ready to go.